Whatever you've been through is a part of who you are, but it does not dictate your destiny. So I don't care when I'm on stage speaking alongside people who have done time in prison, who are ex-feds, wrong word. The number one motivational speaker under 40 in the world. We've got one billion views. <laughs> Your past does not define you. Whatever you've been through is a part of who you are, but it does not dictate your destiny. So I don't care when I'm on stage speaking alongside people who have done time in prison, who are ex-feds, wrong word, but ex-criminals and whatever else they've done, they were dealing drugs before and maybe even worse of shit. I couldn't care less, no one gives a fuck. Why? Because who they are today is a different person to that person that they were 10 years ago or 15 years ago. I mean, talking of this, I've been through my own trauma. How do you think I ended up homeless? I didn't just walk out on the street and say, hey, make me homeless today. Like to end up homeless, you've, you've got to have done something pretty bad. Well, you've got to have been through something pretty horrendous to get to that place. You know, I'm not proud of my own past. It, it, it's a very vulnerable and hard, emotionally pressing topic for me to talk about. I was, you know, I was in the webcam world. My body was exploited. I was a webcam girl. I did crazy shit online. I got two sex tapes that were released out of me. If you want to call it porn, call it porn. I fucking tell you if it was now as I speak about my truth, I own my truth. That's a part of my journey. That's not who I am today. That was 10 years ago. The person that I am today is the person that my friends see, the person that my family see, the person that you see when you see me on stage, when you, when you get to know me. The person that I am today, the person that you are today is not the person that you were 10 years ago. If I can get over that, you can get over it. If I can get over my past and what I've been through, I was addicted to drugs. I had to feed a drug addiction and earn money. I was high most of the time. I don't even remember filming half the shit that I did online. I don't even remember it. That's how much of a dark place I was in. But do you see me here sitting crying now saying, oh, I'm a wounded soldier and I've got to stay down? No. Do you know how many people I see whose shit has happened to them? And they just cry and they stay in that bad victimized place for the rest of their life. Who's paying your bills? Because I can tell you now, if I didn't get up after I fell down, who would be paying my bills for me? Who would be looking after and raising my son? I was a single mom for years before I just married my, my beautiful husband. And he knows about everything I was, and he's like, okay, of course, that's who you were. You were young and dumb. No, I was in a bad place, but yeah, he's right too. Who we were 10 years ago is not who we are today. In fact, our body, our whole body is completely new, cellular, at a biological level every seven years. So who we are today is a completely different cellular, molecular version of ourselves than we were seven years ago. So who are you today? Who do you want to show up as today? I don't care what you did before. The world shouldn't care what we did before. There's so much hate in this world. There's so many tragedies going on right now. There is so much pain and suffering. Our minds should be focused on how we can improve the world, how we can come together as humanity, how we can stand together and build a better place for one another and for our children and their children to live in. Not worrying about he said, she said, he did that, she did that. Who cares? There's so much hate. Let it go from your heart. And whoever you were before, you're worried you've got skeletons in your closet, you've done some crazy shit. Like I said, if I got through it, you can. I got through the craziest of the craziest because when you are going through a hard time and when the world feels like it's against you, when you feel like there is nothing left for you, it's in that moment that you've got to fight. It's in that moment that you have to pull through. Like I said, I'm speaking to women today who have been through something, who have been through a trauma and a pain, and you want to overcome it because you can. Nobody dictates your destiny. And what you've been through is your past. It does not define you. What you've been through, as I said before, it is a part of who you are. And let it be a part of who you are. Own your truth and walk in with your head held high. Because the ones 
who are going to talk about you and who are bad to you, they were never your friends. They were never for you. As I have grown on my path, as I'm working with bigger and bigger names, I share the stages with some of the most incredible minds on this earth. And I have that, but if I didn't go through who I was, I would not be able to be on those stages now because I'd just be like everyone else. So your past helps you because it makes you a little bit different. When I sit on stage alongside people who have been to prison and they have amazing stories, we don't judge them for that. That was when they were younger. We look at them and we say, wow, look how far you've come. And you have come so far. You've come so far on your journey. So don't give up now. Like I didn't give up. If I gave up, who would be feeding my son? Who would be creating the structure and the foundation and the products and the services that I do to help people? Half my work is philanthropy. Half of what I do is just giving. We give away so much for free. Why? Because I want this knowledge to be accessible for millions of people all over planet Earth. So that when I'm gone, when I've left this planet, my name is not the thing I want to carry on. It's my legacy. It's what I did here on planet Earth. It's the lives I have changed and the method that I've implemented with my MBS method. That's what I want to live on. I want that to be my legacy. So people know that they too can live their best lives, be their happiest self and have and be and do anything that they want. So whatever you're going through, just know you're coming out the other side. Just know God's got you in the palm of his hand. It's why today I'm here helping people with their mindset. It's why today I am named the number one female motivational speaker under 40 in the world. And why I have that? It's not because I was this clean, innocent angel. It's because I've been through adversity. It's because I've been through pain. I think pretty much most of the drugs I took and all the shit that I did is the reason I got my illness because I wasn't listening to the universe. And when pain hits you, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual pain, it's a red light from the universe saying, wake up, wake up and smell the coffee. Do you listen when I give you the signs? I didn't listen. It took me to being homeless and getting an illness to realize I needed to change. So I hope that this reaches you today. I hope that whoever this is for today, whoever needed this, whoever needed that uplifting moment to know you're gonna be okay.